Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the audio system demo of the 2021 Infiniti Q50 and its 16-speaker Bose Performance Series audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to listen to some sample tracks, take a look at how the infotainment system works, do a quick demo of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, get out on the road, listen to those sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. So before we get started, let's hop out to a quick look at the car. This is the Q50 Red Sport 400, so the performance version of Infiniti's uh, compact luxury sedan, near luxury sedan. If you want to see more on the car, check the links in the description for our fuel economy test as well as our full review of the Q50. So we always do these tests with uncompressed lossless WAV audio files on a USB drive plugged directly into the audio system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. Now in the Q50, it's a little bit deceiving how you get to all the sound settings, because you're in the audio menu right now, and you see this little gear icon, you click that, you'd think, oh, okay, here are my sound settings. You got your bass, treble, balance, fader, but nothing else. So you're like, okay, well, I'll mess with those, and I'm done. But actually, if you go home and then swipe over here to settings and then into sound, bada bing, bada boom, you've got your Bose Audio Pilot, your Bose center point and your surround volume adjustments. So Audio Pilot adjusts the level of the audio volume depending on ambient noise, road noise, or people talking or something like that. Center point gives you a little bit more of a, of a 360 experience, it's a little more artificial, kind of makes that surround setting. So both of those are on by the factory default, so we'll leave those as is. But let's go through and demo the bass treble and those, those other two Bose settings. Not the easiest to make these adjustments, there's a little bit of a lag from when you press, and also there's kind of small buttons, so if you're driving it's difficult to pinpoint exactly what you want to get. Let's, uh, as the music picks up, we'll turn audio pilot, or we'll leave audio pilot on because you're not going to notice the difference right now, but we'll turn on and off center point. Now in other Bose systems, I haven't cared for center point too much, but the Infinity cars, I do tend to like center point on, which makes for a little bit more enjoyable audio ex experience for me, even if it's a bit more artificial. Speaker locations here in the 16 speaker Bose system. Got quite a lot for this size of car. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16 subwoofer in the rear deck. Audio controls, you've got a nice center volume knob right here, fairly easy to use and grab onto. Nice detents, you've got volume adjustments on the steering wheel here as well. For track selection, you've got back and forth here, physical button, you can also use the channel buttons over there, or sorry, the, the, like the chapter, folder, tune buttons. You've got up and down here on the steering wheel, and then you can also use the virtual touchscreen buttons right there. Inputs. You got quite a few here on the Q50. You've got your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio. You also have USB-A, USB-C, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, and a disc player. So what are you missing? Nothing. You've got everything here on the Q50. Arguably, some other cars have internet radio streaming options, but I don't really consider that to be an audio input, if you will. But technically, we don't have that. Let's take a quick look at how Android Auto and Apple CarPlay work here in the Q50. So this device has not been paired with this vehicle yet. I will have to unplug the music, unfortunately. That beautiful AM or FM radio sound. Would you like to use Apple CarPlay with this device? Yes, I would. Okay. Wow. And there we have it. We got Apple CarPlay up there and down here. You still have access to your other things. So I actually kind of like that setup nicely because you can still get to your climate, 
audio, things like that. But if you want to have your navigation up there, it's much nicer to be able to have that. And you can even scroll through with this touch knob. So that works pretty nice. You can still touch the screen. Resolution's quite a bit lower on that screen, as you can tell. But touch sensitivity is still good. Refresh rate is fine. Okay, let's unplug that and plug in our Android Auto demo. Are. Yes. Yes, I would like to use Android Auto. Next. And there we are. Got Android Auto up. Getting the phone book, call history, and everything like that right now. You see, we got our maps. We go here, we have our home screen, your settings, all those, YouTube music, everything works nicely. I like the dual screen setup. It works really nice for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Okay, let's get our music back in and we'll get on the road.
missing is it's a tad sloppy. Nothing's coming through really harsh or offensive on my ears. There is a good amount of crispness, but I would like a little bit less out of the mid-range, a little less of that hollow, empty sound, and a little more power and weight under the, under the song. I'd like more from those bass drum hits. Let's listen to a little bit more. On higher quality systems, the melody and, and the real driving force comes through with this song. This system, it's focusing too much on the higher ends, kind of the ancillary, the, the, the snare hits, and cymbal crashes. Not awful, though. This next song will turn the bass all the way up. Give a little bass test. So a slight bit of exhaust note, but other than that, a pretty refined cabin. Not really any wind noise, and just a small bit of tire noise. Pretty good. system it's it's a pretty average Bose even though it is 16 speakers it is their performance series I'm not blown away it sounds pretty good for a luxury vehicle but there it's not nearly the best in this class a Mark Levinson will easily take the system some of the better Bowers and Wilkins and Harman Kardons definitely if I had to give an objective rating for just the sound quality we're talking about a seven factor in the the facts that we've got all sorts of inputs. We've got the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary, the CD player, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. I'd bump this system up to a seven and a half or an eight. Subjectively speaking, for a luxury sedan, this one costing 62 grand, this is only about a six and a half. You really should be expecting more at this price point. If you're an audiophile and you want high quality audio, get a Volvo or a Lexus, maybe a Mercedes, some BMWs as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you got a good impression for the Q50's audio system. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, like the video, check out our other Q50 content and our other sound tests, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.